They let us drive. They let us work. They let us shop and pay taxes. But they won't listen to us. Until now. 16 and 17 year olds, the right to vote in local elections like this one? Absolutely. No. Zenia? Yes. Mr. Pierre? Yes. Mr. Ford? Yes. Mr. Kozlar? Yes. Ms. Lightfoot? Yes, I do. Mr. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Mendoza? Yes. Mr. Ms. Practical? Yes. Mr. Ballas? Yes. One of the most compelling things was the the benefit of habituating voting early and the brain science behind how um, behaviors can become habituated and the time frame and the importance of that 16, 17 uh, time frame for, for instilling that habit. I mean, at the tender age of 16, you're able to receive a driving permit. And so uh, why wouldn't those same young people be given an opportunity to drive uh, their thought processes and initiate uh, who they would like to see um, running the world. The fact that we can't even vote, but meanwhile, we are so we are so gravely affected. 16 to 17 year olds are within the demographic of the most murdered, the most likely to drop out of school, the most likely to join gangs. How are we not having a say in where the funding goes? We know that local political decisions affect the lives of 16 and 17 year olds every day, and we know that elected officials pay most attention to those who vote, uh, which makes sense. And so by extending voting rights to 16 and 17 year olds, we can make sure that their concerns are addressed and their voices are heard when it comes to local policy making. I think the big push for having 16 year olds vote is this idea that, you know, they're 16 is the legal working age in this country. And so the idea is if you're going to work and you're going to pay taxes, you should be able to vote. I mean, it's the old, that's the old edict, right? No taxation without representation. So here we are, you're 16, you're working, you're getting taxed, but your voice isn't directly represented because you don't have a vote. I think that if you pay taxes, you have a right to try to have a say in what your tax dollars are going towards. And I think it, it's been proven that 16 year olds have the capacity to make logical decisions when it comes to voting. We're, we're ready to vote. You know what I'm saying? I was ready to vote when I was 14. When I'm already thinking about college, when I'm already, you know, planning the future, I'm definitely ready to vote. And um, not even just me, you know what I'm saying? People, people are ready to vote. We are at 16 to 17, we are starting to develop. We are starting to see, okay, boom, I see, I see what he's saying, I see what she's saying. I, I hear his policy, I hear her policy. Um, we are able to kind of distinguish what is right and what is wrong. This whole process where we empower 16 year olds to say, hey, your voice actually matters. I want to hear what you have to say about this issue. That by itself is going to get teenagers involved. The fact that, hey, all of a sudden now you're listening to me, I think it's the exact opposite. I think really like that, that some of our older generations, 30, 40, 50 year olds, are kind of tuning out at the ballot box. It's, it's sometimes in the ways that the younger voter gets out there and mobilizes and gets, gets energized to, to get out there and get an issue that they, that they represent and to push it. You know, young people turning out and just realizing, hey, we have like the people power that we can make change happen. I think that that um, is definitely a very, I think that that's a very instrumental part of um, what students can really do. I think that what's important about this, this proposal and, and this, this approach is that it gives kids an opportunity to be more deeply involved in the stuff that affects them most directly. Um, when you're talking about voting in local elections, those are the things that touch the lives of 16 and 17 year olds. And so I, I actually think that if we gave the vote to 16 year olds, I think they would actually see inspiration and in, in trying to get educated and trying to understand the issues a little bit better um, because I think that they would value and respect the fact that they are being trusted and their voice is being heard. At the end of the day, us as American people and us as Chicagoans, we have our civic duty and our right to engage in the democratic process. Vote 16 is a wonderful organization. We're fighting to get young people the right to vote in city elections right now. And hopefully once we get that done, we can work on statewide races and hopefully we can get national. If you want to be a part of this movement, join us. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram at Vote16Illinois and visit us on the web to learn more.